Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to the How To Craft Network studio. We've got a great show, as always. Every show is totally different and we can't have our favourites, but one of my favourites is here today. <laughs> so it's going to be a fabulous Thirsty Brush Unlimited show with our fabulous guest, Emma Blake. I know a lot of you come to see Emma's style, which is really unique, really creative and very forgiving. Anything goes, which is amazing. My name is Tony Derrick and this is a studio where you can come and get lots and lots of inspiration, whether it's clean and simple, mixed media, it can be anything now, anything goes in our studio. And we have lots of lovely guests and presenters presenting here in studio now. Moving forwards in 2022, we are going to have a lot of new brands and I've got something very exciting to tell you about, but I can't tell you yet. I might tell you a little bit about it. We'll see, we'll see. So in show today, we have a lovely lineup of Emma's products. And guess what? What did I say the other day? Can you all remember if I say 85? Can you remember? I'll, I'll wait till it all comes through on the comments because I know it's delayed. But as you all know, the channel is moving to 85. So don't miss out. Don't go to the channel and think it's disappeared for life. It hasn't. It's moving to channel 85. Hence the prices today. Everything is 85. 85 how cool is that so normally we have stamps and dies at 16.99 each today me and emma have put our heads together and everything is 8.85 check out the website we don't have lots okay so if you have had something on your your eye on or you wanting to maybe dip your toe into emma's style which is also amazing then today is going to be that great day for you to do that 8.85 so let's have a look at some of the products and then we'll say hello to our lovely guest she has an amazing giveaway as well and it's not just a card like last time if you saw the giveaway she had that beautiful book well she's got something awesome today all you need to do is comment underneath the video when we have gone off air about the show we pick a winner it's an awesome giveaway again okay so as you can see we have a lovely lineup for you if you are on youtube don't forget to click that subscribe button that gives us a wider reach and also allows you to get the notifications when we are live let's get on with the show it's going to be a good one i can feel it in my bones so i will come and say hi to you all emma can also see all of the comments as well and she will be answering any questions as well. I have four announcements at the end of this show to tell you about four winners for four different shows. I've got them on my paper here, so stay tuned till the end. And then what we'll do is we'll pick the winner from today's show in another show, can't keep up, and do a giveaway for that as well. So let's have a look at item number one on the counter. So it is a sweep of stamps and dies today. You will also know that last time um, Emma was here, she did a sweep of stencils as well. So I do encourage you to go back and watch those. There might be a few of those left, I cannot remember. But item number 100304 is your background stamps. These are all done on Emma's jelly plate to give you that little bit of a boost and confidence with your crafting. And this is your crimped textures, okay? 2A6 stamps today, 8.85 on H. TCN. If you are a club member, 841. And if you've got those points, you're going to get it for about £7. <coughs> £7. <coughs> Moving on. 100304 for your crimped textures. Moving on to the second item on the counter, which is this fabulous backgrounds again. They're not distressed like the first one. They're very symmetrical in pattern, these ones. And these are two like floral designs on there as well. So they're like, like either they're like a repeating pattern. So 100305 and again, HTCN 885. If I say eight, you say 85. Eight, 85. Club members, 841 in today's studio. Now, do have a look at our £10 and under page. We have that also available and we also have our sale page. You may want to bolt some of the items in with today's show. If you are watching for the first time, thank you so much for joining us live in studio. We are doing so much content, so much inspiration, but do remember to click that subscribe button. So moving on to item three on the counter. So this is a large A5 background. I think Emma's going to use this one. And she's got some good demos today because it's not just about cards. She's got sort of a candle technique to show you all. I know a lot of you are wanting to get involved in Emma's style. And you all know that she does the Facebook Lives on a Sunday and on a Tuesday, I believe. But we'll talk about more, more about that when I speak to Emma in person. But this is your large A5 background stamp, some flower and blooms, 100306. HTCM price, 
85. Yes, you've got it. 885. <laughs> I shouldn't really have to talk about the price until we get to the last item on the counter, which is a back in stock item, which Emma, last time Emma used them, they absolutely flew. We've got them back in stock today, which I'm super excited about because I hate to keep you all waiting when you all keep saying, when's this back in stock? When's that back in stock? So we've got some lovely back in stock items. So moving down the counter then to this other element on the counter, which has a mixture of textured backgrounds in there as well. And these are your no rule stamp set, okay? So you get that focal point in the center. You also get those lovely, lovely textured um, elements in the background. And it also has words in this one. So maybe if you are starting for the first time and you need something that's going to enable you to create a complete card because it has the words, the texture and the flowers in there as well, you can do that. So this is 100307. I can't get my words out. I don't know what's up with me. I don't think I've had enough coffee. <laughs> 100307 and this is your no rules stamp set i think that's a great starting point if you are dipping your toe with emma for the first time today so let's move on to some cool little quirky mini stamps they're all on an a5 carrier sheet but they're like four mini textured stamps in there so you get like some some sort of flower designs some sort of like raindrops in there as well you get the circles so this is like four mini ones which as you can see they're not symmetrical in pattern so you will be able to build a full background if you overlay them or build them together one zero zero three zero eight eight eighty five so that's the stamps. Let's move on to some other items. I'm just moving my winners out of the way because I really need, I've got a list as long as my arm, honestly. So the next item we thought we'd put in was some words for you. And it's the beautiful words where you can build up and make your own quirky sentiments. So work hard, play hard. You know, you can make whatever you wish. Hope, laugh, um, enjoy. Just so many just different words that you can build. Dream big birthdays forever birthdays happy birthdays congratulations <laughs> just so many different ones in it. and she's got some quirky ones in like arty pants and things like that you have to say that very slowly because it doesn't come across quite as i want <laughs> to say it like last time emma was in the building so they are your words and they're all individual so you can cut them up and build them quite quirky ways if you want to so 100219 if you are watching on our actual website the products are below but if you are making a note of the numbers the one for this one is 100219 so that's a whole bunch of stamps we've also added some lovely dies to the collection emma's got a great demo showing you how to use these as well so let's have a look at the dies so these dies are different in my opinion i would look at these and probably not know what to do with them but then emma comes with a whole bunch of samples and i'm like oh why did i not think of that and it just shows you how different we all are as crafters so we're just going to have a look at this one it has the sending smiles in there which is the word and it's really lovely because the centers of the letters pop out and give a heart impression and then you get your layering element so this is build a bloom it's an a5 set so you get quite a lot in there and again item number 100309 price 885 all the same 885 then one more die for you here which is called fancy flowers and it's of the same sort of area with the building element on there as well but it has open fretwork design and it has those layers in there as well where you can build on there so that's fancy flowers i mean just to look at them it looks a lot like a mandala but these are all hand drawn by emma they are just tidied up on a graphics package and the outcome is truly truly beautiful one zero zero three one zero eight eighty five club members 841 and if you are accruing those points then you're going to get them really cheap so pop the items in your basket go to your basket see where the discounts are applied and why they are applied if you're happy with what it shows then you can check out your basket and then we'll get the items out to you if you shopped on our earlier shows and you check on your account and that order has not left the building you can always click add to previous order so you don't have to pay the postage for a second third fourth fifth time if you don't want to so let's have a look at the last item on the counter which you know i love to watercolor so does emma but these are your tubes of watercolors absolutely gorgeous and they are so vibrant emma's kindly done a swatch as well for you so let's just show you this beautiful swatch i'll just pull it down here 
they are amazing now we, last time we had these they absolutely flew now at 39.99 that is the price that we had them here but if you try and find them elsewhere they are way more than that and in today's show i've put them on at 29.99 these are gonna last you forever and emma's got a palette to show you and talk you through the colors club members 28.49 it comes in a beautiful case it comes with the swatch and you also get a beautiful palette which i will show you in a second when i find it i've moved it out of the way but it comes with a beautiful palette as well so you can do all of your mixing quite transportable as well if you want to but equally they're in a tube which is going to last you a lifetime even if they go hard you just reactivate them with some water these were already flying before we came to wear 100080 okay and it is your superior paint set 24 watercolors now that is the whole counter i'm not going to talk too much about the counter in the how to craft network we do come for the inspiration and we do not want to frustrate by going through products over and over i will touch on a few of the most popular items throughout the show but it is all about the guest and the demonstrations so i am going to say hello to our lovely guest who sat patiently waiting hi hi yes yeah, she's talking <laughs> way she's looking. talking to the camera brilliant how are <laughs> you a little wait Thing on that How are you? I'm are you all right. What have yes. you been up to? Um, I have been creating lots and lots. Um, I've been in here all on painting. Yeah, she has. She's mm. she's um, just been being totally creative. Like, don't bother me. I said, Emma, would you like a sandwich feel? And she's like, No. She didn't even look up. I'm like, Okay. She's like, I don't eat. I just craft. <laughs> So what, what are we going to do for our first demonstration? Em? I'm going to show how to make a painty background. This is the background where we're going. Ooh. To start off with. Angle it up. I better. Wouldn't, there we are. Wouldn't know where to start. So that's what we're going to do. I want it to be easy. Okay. I promise. So I'm going to do the watery bit. I'll do it in different colours just to show a different style. And then when I'm drying it, you can okay no problem so, of your list. the one that she's using is the no rule stamp set with those textured elements in the yeah. back and the sunflower and the, the sunflower one. bloom the yeah. big one so check them out on the website there's several designs on there we're not going to flick between if we can't avoid it and these are the yeah. watercolors that emma's using yeah. so these are the watercolors that absolutely need a tiny amount they're going to last you for so long um i love them the superior watercolors and i mean i've got watercolors that have cost 75 pound a set and um, my aim is to collect every watercolor in the world i know <laughs> which is unrealistic but so emma walked through store this morning as well as kelly and jordan and they never get through the store without I stopping i try i'm like come on come on and you can have a look later she's like oh and all you hear all the way walking through is "Ooh, ah <laughs> ee, ee, look at these <laughs> um, but look at these look at the color that's coming and i'm not even all i've done is wet the brush and i'm dabbing it in now all i suggest is when you're doing painty backgrounds like this is sort of keep the colors apart to start with so you're not mixing them together too much they will move and blend because i've sprayed it with water just your spray it. if you're using a good quality card as well it's not gonna pill or your watercolor card what's it called carter yeah the carter mm -hmm. one that that will do the trick yeah, that's available on the website. Ke um, Kellyanne uses that one as well. For some reason, I just cannot get my words out today. I do get a bit giddy, don't I? It's, a, it's giddy. New paints. New paint. Hmm. So I'm just picking up random colours. I'm going to go with a pink, a blue, and the yellow. Also, in this set, you get a yellow ochre and a red oxide, which if you like to do your rusty techniques, that's how you do it. And I can show you that in a Facebook Live as well because um, obviously i can't show everything here i would she so would if she was allowed in. but she can't <laughs> <laughs> I have to move in but sunday night at 7 p.m on the thursday brush page, facebook page and 8 p.m on a tuesday all the time i'm there unless i'm not <laughs> and then that's how i do it so that's it that's all i'm going to do at the background i'm going to leave it there Got me brush and then i'm going to spray it some more and watch them move and when the blue hits the pink you'll get a purple when the yellow hits the blue you'll get a green and when the pink and the yellow go together you'll get an orange and that's how it looks like you've got much more colors or many more english 
whilst Emma's just doing that demonstration, got. we'll stay with Emma. I'm just going to have a quick hunt for the palette that comes with the case as right. well. So if you hear any noise, it's just me <laughs> clunking around. And then any really watery bits that I've got, I'm just going to pick up. And that's just so it dries quickly because I'm not very patient. If you put this to one side and let it dry on its own, you will get a much better effect. But because I'm me, that's it. I'm going to use the heat tool. So am I ready to put it on? I'm not going to blast it. No, you can out. go for it. Oh, oh, just switch I'm on not... the switch at the floor, Em. It's switched on, isn't it? No, on the wall, darling. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I should have done that. I plugged the air thing in, just didn't plug the other bit in. I'll just dry it off. And I'll just, I'll do it quick. Actually, to be honest, if you do that in it as well, it's another technique all in one. So where you get a really watery bit, if you take your kitchen roll and dab it in and put the heat tool straight on, you'll get like a crackled effect as well. And straight away, put your heat tool straight on. So that again, gives it an extra layer of texture really a bit more interest because i keep saying it every time that you with your artwork and you're doing it the, the most the cards and things that are left off the home deco is the stuff that people walk past and they see something different every time that they walk past it and by doing this as well it gives you an extra layer of yumminess basically <laughs> it's all interesting so i'll leave it there because i'm not going to work too much on this one because i have got it done and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this crumpled one and my stamps are very well loved. Just a bit. Just, just a bit. That's the way they should be though. I'm going to grab a colour. I'm going to take a blue. That's already there. And again, this is it. I'm not even going to do it properly. Ink it up. Don't need to put it on a block or anything because you don't want it perfect. I'm just going to dab it in. I love how random you are, Em. It is. It's totally it's just... just going for it there, aren't you? You're not even putting it on a block or in a no, rig. Just... It She's doesn't not... need to. It's supposed to... The thing is, when you're doing it, if you overthink something, then you end up... I do. Anyway, I end up overworking it and it ends up like a dog's dinner. Just go for when it. I, uh, just go for it and don't overthink it. And any uh... edges that you get that you don't like, that's why we've got trimmers. Just trim it down and again, it will look like a completely different bit of work. I found the palette, ladies and gents. So basically it has two clips on each side. I just move it away. Sorry. Two clips on each side here. And it clips into the base of the watercolour palette. And then if I just show you on the front here, so you've got a full mixing station here for your individual colours, should you wish. You also have the three ones at the base and the sort of raised elements so you can take the colour off the brush if you want to. So it's not a plastic, like terrible plastic. It, it's a solid piece of kit that clips into the base. That, that pretty much lives on my, it's still under my desk. Actually, it was too watery to bring because yeah. I was using it last night. Yeah. So it's fabulous. For that really price, it's well. amazing, isn't it? And with it having more space than what paints you would use, you can bring in your gouache and things like that, things that work together. Yep. And right, so what I've done is I've popped that on, so I'm going to hit the corner, and this is the big sunflower blooms. blooms. Yep. And I'm just going to use a Versafine. So that's that super, excuse me, large yeah. A5 um, stamp set, which is 100306, okay, and that's that super large A5 background which obviously you can mask off the um, components mm -hmm. and the elements if you want to but equally often on the page just because it's the a5 stamp does not mean you have to use it like that cut it down i'm going to use it like that Let's just pop that there like stamp it out color it in and cut all the bits out i mean you'll have seen how i've used the flowers separate i've used the um art that comes through it separate a bit of everything and again this here is a background so it does not need to be perfect. I like the openness of this one. I do. I mean, you can do all your um, pattern building in it if you've got it, your fine liners and things. Yeah, build. You could do you some zen yeah. yeah, good idea. Definitely. 100306 for this one, 885. Oh. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm changing this one up a little bit, just to show how different you can get something to look from the same sort of idea so this one here i've used a different stamp set with leaves and things but i haven't got that one with us so what i've done is i've had the crumpled texture yeah and the circles what i'm going to use is the journal marks 
Ah, the ones with the tears and the uh -huh. flowers and the circles. I love this stamp set. So just saying hello to some of our lovely friends while you're stamping away, Em, because we haven't had a chance. So hi, Julie. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Enid. Hi, Helen. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Teresa. It's lovely to see you all. Thank you for taking the time to come and say hi. Hi, May. Um, got a question. Um, let's have a look. Uh, question. What is the palette that Emma's actually got her paints in now? They're a travel set. Are they? Yes, this is um, a Ranger one. Um, I think it's an alcohol ink one I've got. And what I did was last, well, yesterday, because I realised my palette was wet, is I just filled it up with loads of different watercolours. Yeah. So, and then because I've got more, I've mixed other colours together. So I've got yellow ochre and the um, permanent yellow yep. in together. And it's a great way of building up with the colours as well. And if they go hard, you just reactivate yeah, them with water. But, I mean, if you're not travelling anywhere, that palette's perfect. You don't need to buy any more. No. Okay. Perfect. So, Let's have a look. There we go. Okay, so this, that, this stamp set that Emma's using, the Sunflower and Bloom 100306, a lot of you have this in your basket. So I think you're all buying this one and the paints because of the open spaces on this one. Yeah. And it's a big one, isn't it? It's, it's a beautiful stamp. I love it. I like the space. What I'm going to do is just to bring, I'm not going to colour it all in. I'm just going to do a couple of these circles in the pink. Because the pink, right? Pink. I love pink. <laughs> pink and purple. Pink and purple and teal and mm. yellow together. Everything I do ends up that colour. I did do something green the other day. Okay. So what, what's everybody's colour combination? Yes. What do we all like? So Emma said that she likes pink and purple and teal. I do like a teal, but I'm not sure what my favourites are. I don't really particularly have a favourite. What's your favourite at home, ladies and gents? What two colours do you like to work together? And should we have a Facebook thing where we all use somebody else's colour combinations and see what we end up with? <laughs> oh, that could be a bit crazy. No, but it's a good experiment though, isn't it? <laughs> So I'm going to jump to this one. You can see how different they are just by using different colours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Different yeah. stamps, different. I'm going to so, work on this one because it's dry. Emma, how did you get that black edge? Is it just blended? I got the daubers. Yep. I've, I've just picked up your daubers. <laughs> <laughs> and all I did was... Oh, just give it a little around. bit of an edge. I leave it quite thick. I do use the VersaFine. It. I always find that that black edge just draws your eye in, doesn't it? It does, it really does. Same as mounting onto a dark colour as well. As soon as you mount onto a darker colour. Oh, yeah, I get it. And I've picked up a green card there and it brings out the green and the leaves and things. Yeah, love that. So much better. So that's it. I just go around with the ink pad. Okay. I'm going to pop that one there, yes. And I'm going to go onto this one. And I'm going to use no rules. Oh, the big floral. And yeah, and stamp that out actually at evening. I brought mine because it's messy and yours isn't. <laughs> so the no rule stamp set that Emma's now using is 100307. Again, I won't colour all of this. I have got it done, but I will show how it stamps because I love it. And again, this is a stamp. Yes, it's all, it's together on the stamp, but cut it down. Yeah. That big flower works lovely on its own, especially if it's done in a sepia colour. And then it's all like the brownie colours are mounted on a craft card. Yeah. Get your embossing powders out as well. We have some beautiful samples from Emma and her fabulous design team dotted around. You probably can see them. So it's just down to your own creativity. What, what colours do you like? How do you like to make your craft? Is it cards? Is it mixed media? Is it household mm -hmm. upcycling? You know, there are literally no rules. <laughs> excuse no. the pun no rules um when it comes to sort of card making there's an eclectic mix here some with birds on some with just the beautiful florals they're the words that have been cut down for you and mm -hmm. snipped into so you can build onto the backgrounds if you want to sausage the snail is in the background you've got the birds in the burbs in the background <laughs> as well but it just shows you how something that may look like one person's style can so be mixed up and made into your own personal style yeah. and at 8 to 85 if you've never tried Emma's products or Emma's style today is a great opportunity for you to do that because what we're trying to do is because I'm nothing like Emma and Emma has her own style we understand that yes crafters can be completely different and yes crafters like my style but wouldn't it be so cool to try something different you've got all the stuff at home you know mm. just utilize it in a different way I well guess. I pick your stuff up and yeah. use it with mine I mean the frames I've done yeah um um Mix and match everything, basically. 
Yeah, I, I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. And I want to give it a go, time permitting for me. But yes, if I could have the time or would have the time, yeah. I'd definitely have a play. And just because I do something in neon pink, it does not mean you have to in any way, shape or form. Or the bright but, yellows. But she does like pink. I do, I do like pink, <laughs> that's why I do it. But if you like, you like yellows and you like blues, do it that. So what I'm doing is I'm painting the card with water first. And I'm going to go in with the orange straight away. So it's quite watery going in with the orange all over. Don't stay inside the lines. Life's too short, basically. <laughs> Just all over. And again, with water colouring, that's the desired effect that you want, isn't it? It's the water colour, so it's forgiven. Again, if you don't want a fussy cut out either, what you could do is fussy cut a mask out of the big one which is a lot easier than fussy cutting the little bits, and stamp your image straight into the middle. So you're not going to stamp over the other flowers. I have showed that in a Facebook Live as well, which they're always there. They're always on the Thirsty Brush page. So I'm yes, going to go... Emma's very kind with the time to do tuition on evenings, Sunday evenings. Is it Tuesday? Sunday yeah. and Tuesday. Sunday is 7pm and... Tuesday's 8. Yeah, so yeah. make sure you tune in. It was 7, but... Uh, I think I was clashing with people's teas and getting in from work. Yeah. So I was asked to change it, which is fine by me. And all I'm doing is into the orange, because it's quite wet and watery, I'm dropping that pink in and letting the water do the work to move it rather than trying to blend it too much. Oh, a bit more water. You do this, don't you, Tony? A wet in wet technique is yeah. one of my favourites. So whilst Emma's just painting away, just we'll stay on Emma though, but I do want to tell you about um, Emma's given me a fabulous giveaway and I'm going to show you at the end. So all you need to do is comment underneath this video after we've gone off air and we love to listen to your comments. We love to know what you thought about the show, about Emma, about me, good or bad. Um, but please don't be nasty. I'm sure you won't. But, you know, good or bad. Um, we love listening to feedback as well. So pop a comment underneath this video after we've gone off air and we'll pick a lovely winner and I'll announce it in one of the shows as of today. I've got four winners to announce for previous shows. So you need to stay tuned for those. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just keep going. Um, you don't need to see us do it all because I want to build up the card and then I want to show you the candle. Okay. So I've got my background and I've now got this, which I fussy cut out, but instead of all the little white bits, instead of cutting into it, I have just coloured them in green so it looks like foliage. Yeah. Rather than, and I'm going to pop that in the middle, but first of all, I want some die cuts. Now I have the fancy flowers and, yeah, the fancy flowers. Fancy on. flowers and build yeah. a or the fancy flowers, yeah. Fancy flowers, the build a bloom's coming. Okay. And I'm just going to pop it through because, ooh. Watch you don't overlap and don't try and be clever like me. Oh dear. Yeah. So the item number for the fancy flowers, which is the die set, is 100310. We have some super popular items in show. We have the large sunflower and blooms set, which is that big A5 one, which Emma used around the edges. And the second um, most popular is the no rules set with those textured backgrounds. 100. 307. The paints are hanging on by a thread, no surprise. Um, they did sell out, they are back in stock. Make the most of them because I'm not sure if we'll be able to get them again. I will try though. Yeah, the paints for that price, they're going to last you years as well because you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount. Right, so I have the spell out, the dyes, the fabulous. There they are. Gorgeous, I love them. I do too. Absolutely love them because with the um, Builder Bloom as well, the layer, layer them both up together, they're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I've taken, they'll just fall out. If they don't, you've got your fabulous porky tools. So, on the Donna's website. asking a question, Em. Are these the same paints you used in your live? Um, no, they were the gouache ones, but these work really well with the gouache. Watercolour paints tend to be more translucent than the gouache ones. So your gouache is basically the, the stress oxide of the watercolour world. Yeah. Yeah. And these ones here are your um, transparent ones. Yeah, I get that. Totally. So that, so that you, can, you can mix and match and you see them. So when you're painting over a stamped image, you're not hiding it. Yeah, I know what you mean. So these are easier to work if you just knew. But the work 
with acrylics, they work with your... You make um, some match, can't you, with everything that you have yeah, in your stash? Yeah, using stamps, everything. Yeah. All work well together. We will be getting those gouaches, is it the Himmy ones? Yes. Yeah, we will be getting them back in stock. I have something to tell you about when we finish this show before you go off there, so stay tuned, it's very exciting. And they will be in one of the shows. I will let you all know, though. Just, just stay tuned for those. So we've just got um, some lovely messages. So May says that her favourite colours are blue, purples and oranges. Um, just to name but a few. So, yeah. Purple it's and orange go fabulous together. Yeah, and people are now excited to get their orders for their paints and stamps. Excellent. <laughs> uh, yes, please share what you make as well. That's the best bit. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So what I'm doing is to build up some interest in the background and so the, the flowers aren't lost. I'm just using the fancy floral. I've used the big one and the middle one. Give that one for later. And I'm going to build that up on top with some foam. Oh, yeah, just to break it up a bit. Yeah. So first of all, before I do that, though, I am going to, I know, <laughs> but it's all the little things that help, ink around the edges, and that gives you shadow, so just your daubers and a dark ink pad, doesn't have to be black, whatever, and then that'll go on to your card, and then the words, now the words are absolutely invaluable basically because you've got so many you've got happy anniversary happy birthday and um, dreams laugh so all them can be work separate but then what else you can do is build up a sentence so you've got work hard play hard us against the world well, the ones that that's work. brilliant yeah uh, us against the world i think is absolutely fabulous it's even tip i just yeah, <laughs> us against the world always mm -hmm. us forever get free, your, your pants on always sing and dance stay quirky always dream um those things dreams can come true stay quirky party time so you've got so many different variables of words that you can make into your own personal sentiments so if you've got somebody who's quite quirky and loves a good pun then you can put that creation together but equally if you've got somebody who just likes happy birthday then you've got that too exactly i've got happy dance here <laughs> <laughs> i was doing my happy dance when i came to the shop yeah i've been dancing on tiktok with my son i've, oh, seen. My gosh. I've that, seen you that. go first mummy i'm like okay uh, see, I've been trying to wait, I can't. Well, I just, I lose hours of my life watching it. Though. It's great. It's so funny. So the stamp with the words, is that large A5110219? Yep. Just in case somebody is taking a note of the numbers and maybe going to shop yeah, later. It's making your own ticker tape, basically. You know what you are? Yeah, I like that. But it's a little bit bigger. And it's Emma. I've Emma did. <laughs> <laughs> but I've lost my white pen. What I would do is just add the highlights. Yeah, the white gel and I'll pen. And I'll come back to it if I... Well, that is a I lovely, love lovely demonstration. Thank yeah. you so Thanks much, to... Emma, for that one. We'll just show you, um, if we can, from the front, if possible. Can we show? Just yeah. Tim's just sorting it out for you. We'll have a quick look at that one. And then what we'll do is I'll just go through... Thank you so much, Tim. What we'll do is we'll go through a, a few of the other items. The um, watercolour inks and not hanging around i just wanted to tell you um they are quite busy for those and then i'm just going to have another we'll have a lovely sweep of the counter again to show you what we have in the show i'm not going to go into numbers and things like that you can physically see them on set and then what we'll do is we will go back to emma for a lovely demonstration when she's ready but while she's getting ready i do want to show you um the giveaway as well so it's so exciting so the giveaway all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video when we go off air and i have this amazing giveaway i'll just let you have a look at the products on counter in case you do have an eye on a couple of the items that you love and then i can show you the fabulous giveaway because it's a good one as well emma is so very giving with her time with her samples with her projects and today is no exception so today we're going to give away this one so last time emma was in studio we gave away a beautiful album which must have taken hours well this one is just as beautiful as well so it comes in this it's like a hard wooden box which she's been quite creative with and then it comes with the beautiful book inside and these are all the components that are in today's show as well and it is a lovely book where she's put that little clip inside and it's got lots of decorated papers with all of the inks that she has at home. So this is a lovely giveaway. Thank you so much, Emma. No what we'll do is we'll pick a giver, we'll pick a winner um, probably early next week. 
early next week for anyone who comments underneath this live video. We'll get Emma to pick it and then I'll get it sent out to you all. So it's a lovely, lovely, lovely giveaway. So many reasons to tune in. You never know, you might get a lovely surprise in the post. So that's the fabulous giveaway. So let's move on to the second demonstration. Now, I believe Emma's going to do something a little bit more home decor um, this time. So if you've got your creative juices going, then you're going to thoroughly enjoy this one. She has been advised that our fire system has only just been um, fitted this week, this week to protect our building and everybody inside. So <laughs> if she sets fire to it, this is a chance we're going to find out if it's working or not. So no, here we go. What are we no doing, sweetheart? Involved. I'm going to use this big stamp again, the Sunflower and Bloom. It's such a nice stamp. It's a worker stamp, basically. I'm going to stamp it out in this. Here is the Jerry Arts parchment paper for the oh, Jerry Boo. The, yeah, we had that in the show, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So you can use it for so many other things. I mean, this one hasn't seen a jelly plate. So I'm just going to stamp it out. Again, it does not have to be perfect because it's too short. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just, it's all about having fun, isn't it? So that's that. All I did different on the one that I'm going to use now is I watercolored the background exactly the same as I did the background for the first one. Okay. I thought too many of that and drive is crazy. So this is this one. And you can see the background where I've sprayed the water and left it. And then all I've done is I've taken the watercolors and picked out each flower. So I'm just, I'll show a little bit just to show how it works. That looks really I'm cool. Still, I'm going in for the pink. Yeah, pink that looks so time. cool on the sort of parchment, doesn't it? Yeah. So. It kind of resists the watercolour a little bit. That's why I put the colour on to start off with. But this will give it another look altogether. See, it starts to work once it's wet a little bit. Ah, yeah. It's just the nature of the beast. And it does kind of give a little bit of distressed look, but that's what I like. But you'll, you would have never known that if you mm -hmm. hadn't have tried that technique, would you? No. Nope. That's the beauty of craft. See, it starts to soak in a little bit and just keep going. So that's what I've done. I've pulled it all out. And then I've got, you know, the pillar church candles. They're only a couple of pounds. But I'm going to get your grease proof paper. Has to, you have to cover it with grease proof paper or it will just melt. Right. And then find out the candle's been bashed in my bag. Has that got a plastic cover on that candle? No, I've took the plastic cover off. All it right. did have a plastic cover. It was just really shiny. Okay, so you just put it straight neat onto the candle. Straight neat. You can have it just going round have it on a bit of an angle so this point here you just sort of deciding where to put yeah, it yeah just where you're putting it on then take the grease proof paper put it over the top it's got to be longer than the candle then hold it and that's your handle so you don't burn yourself all right okay and oh then gosh i'm scared heat tool. i'm scared not yet oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Heat tool. laughs> and you'll see it looks like it goes wet underneath and what you're doing is you don't want to do it too much so it runs. You'll see as soon as it starts to turn and you just sort of sit in the parchment into the latency of one. Well, so, so will the candle not melt? You're melting the candle a little bit. So your parchment sits inside the layer oh, of... Oh, I can uh, see it changing. Yeah, can I be, oh, there you can. Oh, well done. That's a great shot. So well I've done. only had one candle, so we've only got one shot. It's okay, we've got, <laughs> we've got one and attempt at it. Let's do it well. <laughs> well done, Tim. Well done. So that's it. You just keep going. Oh, I'm. I'm the really. The only thing is, it's. I think it's for decorative purposes only. Yeah, I'm really excited yeah. to see what it looks like, though. But these on the windowsill for gifts, Valentine's Day is coming, Mother's Day, birthdays, Grandma's birthdays, church days, your charities. <laughs> Everybody's Good. saying that they're on the naughty step because they're all buying. Good! Eight, remember everybody, eight, <laughs> eight, eight to five. The naughty step is the best place to be. In your world. <laughs> it is! Eight, all the fun people are there. Yeah, eight, eight to five for every, all the individuals on the counter, eight, mm. eight to five. And if you are accruing those points or you are a member of our club, you're going to get them even cheaper as well. So the paints, I believe, have now gone, but, but if they are satin baskets, I will remove them after the show to give people the opportunity to get them. So make sure you check the website throughout the show and this evening because we will be sharing this lovely video because the inspiration never goes away. It's always there for you to go on back and revisit 
like this technique now, maybe you don't have that parchment paper or maybe you don't have that sort of heat resistant there, then you might want to go and get it or buy it and then come back and watch I the technique. I think the parchment's on the Thirsty Brush website. Ah, I'm right, sure okay. Check that one out then on the Thirsty Brush mm. website. Maybe it's still there. So, so when you get halfway around, so you don't burn your fingers or anything. Yeah. I'll show you how far we're getting. So all the bits that run, don't worry about it, just come off. And then it sort of takes on like a mat. Oh. Look, so that bits in. I will continue it. Oh, that is so good. It looks absolutely beautiful. That is, I can't yeah. believe it. I've got so blow your mind a little bit. So I'm going to move my hands around. That is so good. Could you imagine all of what, all of the stamps that I have in my stash, if mm -hmm. I coloured them really bright. They don't even have to be really bright. Do them in your Christmas colours. Yeah, vintage colours. Stop right now. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I would. Your well. jelly prints, you could have some really funky ones. I've got monk on now. Uh huh. Everybody be going out and buying <laughs> the colour candles. I want to see pictures. So I, I did. I did not expect it to go off. For some reason, I expected it to go on like very soft and subtle because of the parchment. Yeah, no, it's but because it, it kind of sits inside the wax, and the wax is a little bit shiny, so it makes it pop. I would do it on a light candle, or if you do it on like a black, doesn't it? You're gonna lose it, so it sits inside. Which do you think could do it on a gold candle? Uh huh. Yeah. I don't see why, not. especially if you were saying you. What you could do is in black, stamp it in black, and then if you're doing it on gold, you could paint it in grey, ah. and then it would look like silver and gold with the shimmer. Well, I can't tell you then that I was shocked how well when you pulled that back there. I really <laughs> did expect it to be really muted, yeah. but when well, you pulled actually, it Actually, you can only do it with these stamps that's on the short day. <laughs> yeah, 885. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to get these stamps, you've got to get these stamps in dye. But wait till I decorate it, it's just taking a little bit longer, I'm just no, going to make it stay. It's worth it though, isn't it? It is worth it. So it worth is. it. So that sunflower stamp, that big one, 100306, and that's the one that's wrapping around the candle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So there, I'm going to move that. How unbelievably beautiful is that? I'm going to move that. So, yeah. just a quick one, Em, just to test you a little bit. Well, not to test you, but because I want to get a better understanding. If I did that, if I did that twice to fill those gaps and put yeah. it back over the top to fill the, so yeah. the candle had the complete. Yeah. Um, oh, what you could do? Could you just do that? Measure your measure your candle and get your paper to fit round, and then make a piece of art to fit round properly. Okay. Where it's me. Um, you're random. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so if you if you if you buy the candle that's fitting for your design, mm -hmm. then you're gonna get that full coverage all the way around like it's a shop bought candle. And if yeah. you make a coordinating box or a gift box from Christmas which you save and redecorate, put the candle inside, yeah. twine, tag, to, from, and you can actually say you made it because you did. buy tissue paper and stamp it with the same stamps as you made the stamp the candle with. Hey, check me and you out. Hey, we're on one today, guys. We're gonna have a stall, aren't we? Could you imagine though? Because candles are really inexpensive, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I love that. Right. Right. The Builder Bloom. Right. These two here. Do you know the flower form? A lovely lady, Maureen, sent Ooh. me some flower form. Okay. So what I've done is I've cut them. This, this flower here, uh, one, two, three times in the form, and then this one three times in the form. And I had these same um, stamen type ball things. And all I've done is twisted the foam and made like foam flowers with them. And I've got three of them to go on. I'm going to cut the thingy jiggy off. What's it called? The stamen bit, yep. the wire. And then I'm going to finish off the candle. The same, because the flowers obviously all mix and match in together. It's all one style. So it all mix and matches in. But to look at that dye, you wouldn't know that you could make flowers because of the way that it's presented, I guess, because you are different in design. But looking at it now, you're thinking, yeah, actually, if I cut four or five, I can actually make a flower from that. You just twist it in design, don't you? Mm -hmm. So exactly. 100309 for these flower dyes that are in the show. What are you doing now, Lynn? I'm going to pretend this is ribbon because I forgot to pick it up because I was too nosy. <laughs> so this is lovely ribbon. Okay. And what I would do is either round the top or to, or to create like a decorative. Yeah. So that's a um, nice ribbon or hessian or something there. Or twine or something. Yeah, it can be anything because these, these, they're really going to be only for decoration. 
and then use your hot glue gun. I will, but I couldn't find a plug for yours. I was just going to look for yeah, some twine ribbon. for I've seen some in there, but I'm just don't, don't too worry. distracted. And then I'm going to make it down here. And you can make the flowers out of any kind of papers that you want. Make your own papers. If you're doing jelly prints, make the flowers out of the same sort of jelly prints. Same colours. And then, especially if you're making them pretty with glitter and things like that on as well. Have your flowers. So pretend they're the same colour as the flowers. Oh. You've got that in the Hessians round. But I'm organised as ever. And then taking the fancy flower. Yep, that's the fancy flower. 10039 with those quirky words in there too. And then that. And then you can add your words. Because again, it's just for decoration. Add them in. Also, oh, just so you cut the die cut in half there to create like yeah, foliage. Yeah, cut in half, oh. and it's just that's a good idea. You don't need to cut two just for the. Um, and then what you could also do is cut out your word on the stamp your word onto the parchment and set it into your candle. Or because we have created it, I am going to do your own. Take a tape, so I've stamped it onto white and then layered it on to black and that there. And that there, which we do like, like that. that. So mix and match your colours. The form I had was quite pale, but that there. Does and anybody else think that if we gave Emma a black bin bag, a knife, uh, a bit of cardboard, um, some paints that she'd come up with the best project in the world. <laughs> I think so. I really think so. She's so creative with what you Me put in front of to make cards out of the cardboard boxes. Actually, I've got a picture of them sitting in a cardboard box with umbrella. I'll put it on Facebook. Yeah, pop little. it on. Really creative. Thank you so yep. much, Emma. I've had a really fun show. I, can't, I cannot tell you, I'm <laughs> still going to be asking questions about that it's coloured. Fun. Um, candle there it's absolutely beautiful so you've seen the full counter on there and you've seen all of the projects that Emma has put forward I mean so inspirational check out Emma's happy place on Facebook she's also started doing some little mini videos as well which is cool she's also on <laughs> Instagram as well but a beautiful show 885 for the stamps and 885 for the dies I believe the watercolors have gone but if any have bounced back they are in the show at 2849 incredible incredible savings so just before we go and say hi goodbyes I just have a few things to remind you about so it is now Friday we're not here over the weekend but Simon is back with you at one o'clock okay on Monday and I think he's going to be using the owls next Monday something a little bit different but I have four giveaways for you all so the winner of Carly's cards when Carly was live in studio is a lady called Jan Millen I need all of these people to let me know their addresses as well so please PM me your addresses so for Carly's cards we have Jan Millen for um, Kellyanne's cards from her live show, we have Pat Maguire. For the embossing powders from yesterday's show is Jill Barkus. And for the £85 voucher from our announcement that we will be continuing with Create and Craft is Donna Smith. So please let me know your addresses and we will get all of those out for you. Also live over on Create and Craft on Monday at 12 and 6.45, Carly is with um, there with some Imala savings. Incredible, incredible savings. Monday, 12 o'clock over on Create and Craft. Simon with you at one, Carly at 8, 18.45, and then I'm back with you on Tuesday. Don't forget to pop a comment underneath this video when we've gone off air because you will be um, chosen to win this beautiful project here from the very giving Emma Blake and then on I have something to tell you about I can't tell you too much but put this date in your diary the 25th of February <laughs> we can't tell you too much 25th of February I'll keep giving you little bite-sized chunks of information as we go 25th of February pop it in your diary save that date lovely to have your company thank Emma. you very much when are you back 25th of February. <laughs> I will see you all later, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.